be talking about this range of filaments that I cannot see. Hi, I'm Steve from 1233D. Today I am going to talk to you about our new range of filaments. This is part of our larger range, Transparent PLA. Yes, you heard it folks, Transparent PLA, not PETG. PLA. We first debuted this actually at Maker Central where it generated a huge amount of interest because a lot of people were not aware that you could get a transparent PLA. They were used to printing with transparent or translucent, shall I say, PETG. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I have here in front of me. So I shall start off by these cylinders. Very crudely modelled up in CAD. We made an extruded cylinder 200 millimeters tall, so 20 centimeters. I divided it into a portion that gave us four equal distances, if you like, where we could print various numbers of wall thicknesses. Starting from the top, this was one wall. Then we increased it to two walls, three walls, four walls. By the increase of wall thickness, the translucency is filtered somewhat. The blue is probably the best one. If you look at the, the one wall, it is very, very nearly see-through and then you get right down to the bottom where it is more diffused so it just shows with different wall counts you can actually change the appearance of the filament which is very nice because that allows you to do things like this a nice little stained glass typey ornament which if you held up to the light would basically filter through in all these pretty colors so depending on different use cases i.e whether you're printing windows for models or you want to make little crystals like we did here. This is the ideal filament for you to be able to do that. The special thing with this filament is it prints exactly the same as any of our other, other standard PLAs. So I think we printed all of these parts out on the Mark IVs stock generic PLA settings. So the nozzle will have been at 230 degrees, the bed at 60 degrees, everything else default and overall as you can see it prints perfectly tolerance is great finish is great it gives i don't know i would describe as a maybe even neon type effect but as you can see it really prints very nicely there's no shrinkage there's no discrepancy with let's say any of the tolerance all these body 13 models are printed again default settings everything fits together as it should do it isn't brittle, very easy to work with, doesn't require any post-processing. These are all straight off the printer and we came up with some more novel ideas. So we was like, hmm, how can we combine this with some of our other filaments? So inside here we have our very own Blonde Beer PLA filament, which we thought would be very fitting if we made it into a pint of beer. Again, the actual glass is printed with the blue, so there are lots of different things or projects that you could do with this filament that make it interesting, fun, like from stained glass, windows, crystals, the list goes on and on and on. I mean, for people that are printing flexes and stuff like that, for you to have a translucent flexi, pretty appealing. I haven't seen many of those about. We have this in a range of colours, as you can see here, starting from the top. We have blue, green, this one here, which looks like purple, is actually pink and the one that looks like pink is actually red and then we have orange and yellow it does look purple on the spool because it is very dense but as you can see with one wall it is pink basically the more density you put into the print the darker the shade becomes and then right at the very bottom you could very much say that it was airing on the side of purple so just to alleviate any confusion there one wall definitely pink the further we go down, the more dense we actually make the print, the darker it becomes, and it does give that appearance of it being a purple over a pink. With regards to the red, so again, on the spool, it is clearly, I wouldn't say a bright red, but it is definitely a red. But as you can see from our test, one wall makes it very translucent, so you could get away with using that as a pink. The more walls we increase, the darker it becomes again because of the density. So here we are a very, very salmony, pinky shade of red. So you get varying contrast, shall I say, in the actual spool. 
dependent upon the amount of walls you print or the percentage of infill that you're going to actually apply. The crystals we printed, I think, literally one wall with lightning infill. So there is like 5% lightning infill in, inside these. We will get some close-ups so you can see a little bit closer. But we wanted to keep them as basically as transparent as we could to give an actual crystal effect. And if you wanted to, you could even put a hole in the bottom of this, pop a little LED in, and it would glow very, very nicely. So there is a whole host of different things that you can do, as I've already said. It is literally down to your imagination, guys. Please be sure to check out the link in the description for all of these beautiful filaments. I do believe they're all currently priced at $14.95 a spool, which you get a kilogram. You don't have the aggro like you do with PETG that you get string in. People don't like printing with it for, for their own reasons and whatever else. This prints the same as any other PLA that you will run for your printer. So be sure to check out the link in the description. We will list them all so you can go and smooth the website. If you have any questions regarding any of these prints or any of these filaments, please drop them in the comments box below. If you would like further videos on any other of our filaments, please again, drop it in the comments box below. We'll do our best to put something together for you and I shall leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye bye for now. As always, we aim to have the most competitive 3D printer prices on the market. If you see any of our printers being sold by a mainstream retailer for less, please drop us an email using the link in the description and we'll do our very best to beat their price. Also, if you're watching from outside the UK, check the description for links to our European 123 3D sister stores.